Hi guys, Samantha from Jessima Tutorials here and today we're going to make a fun simple earring pair using uh, washi tape and polymer clay. So this is the tape that I'm going to be using. You can use any washi tape you want uh, but this is the one that I'm going to be using. So you're first going to need some black polymer clay and I've just got this set on a piece of plain printing paper. Then I'm going to grab a texture stamp and this is just simply uh, for the back of my uh, piece so you can use any texture you want. I'm going with kind of a space theme so that's why I've got this kind of nebula swirl but any texture stamp will work for this and I'm just placing it onto an acrylic an acrylic block because that makes it easier to stamp it in and then press down firmly into the clay. And having it on a piece of paper will also mean that the front side keeps a nice clean finish. Lift that up and you can see there that we have a nice easy uh, texture. Okay, keep it facing that side down. Grab a cutter of your choice. I'm going to be using a rectangle cutter today. Well this is actually my half square cutter. I'll have a link to that in the description below and you're just going to cut it out. Now because it's on a piece of paper it will probably stick in the cutter but you should very easily be able to press that out. And I'm just going to cut out two because we're making earrings and you can see there that the front has a nice clean finish and just pop that down like so. Lift that up and you can pop that back with your black. Gently going to rub these down so that they're lying flat on the piece of paper and then you're going to bake that for a full hour at Primo's recommended temperature. When it comes out the oven you might want to give the sides a light sand. If you want to you can even go in and just get rid of any um, fuzz now. Uh, but you might want to give the sides just a light sand after they come out. You can even use a um, craft knife to just uh, run along the edge like so and trim away any little bits of fuzz like so. But yeah, pop that into the oven and then we can move on to the next step. Okay, and here they are out of the oven. So you can see there that that texture just gives a nice finish to the back and something to look at. You can highlight that with some paint if you want by just dabbing the back. I'm going to leave it uh, this way because I quite like it. Then we are going to do the fronts. Now this one I have already popped the tape on as you can see and so we're going to do the same with this one. So here's the tape and all you're going to do is just, I've got a piece of tape here to keep it from unraveling. Just take that and cut away a section that is a bit bigger than your actual piece. Just going to pop that back down. There we go. And that should be a bit wider than your actual piece. Okay. Then just grab one end and rub it between your fingers because you want to worry away at that corner so that we can pick off the backing. This is a little finicky. You can even dip this into water if you want to get it to release easier. Uh, but you should be able to get that corner separated, like so. Okay. Then I'm just going to bring this one over so that I can see whereabouts I need to stick my piece. And that's not completely straight so I'll lift that back up. So this is a little finicky, but you should be able to get it without too much difficulty. Take that down, get that straight, and then press it down onto the clay, like so. Double check with this one to make sure that they match up nicely, and if they do, then you can move on. You can always pick the tape up as many times as you need to until you get it into the right position. Okay, then turn it over, like so. And just use a craft knife to trim away the uh, extra tape, like so. 
very easy to do that. You can use a pair of scissors as well, but I just find that this is easier. And also gives a cleaner finish. Okay, just making sure that I got everything. You could turn whoops. You could turn that around, just make sure that you're happy with it. And there we go there. You can see it's pretty much the same piece of tape so the images join up quite nicely uh, but yeah so now we are going to resin it because it's nice and smooth we didn't need to sand it the edges are perfectly fine and the back obviously has that texture so all that's left to do is resin it so that the tape is sealed on there you can use gloss varnish as well such as Varathane that will work just fine but I would like to have a nice glossy dome on this okay so I've got them sitting on a silicone mat and this means that if we spill resin it's not going to be stuck to something like the ceramic tile and we'll be able to pick it up and trim off that resin. I will also be using uh, this UV resin. I sell it on my Etsy shop Jessima Design and it uses a 36 watt UV lamp. So just make sure that your uh, lamp is 36 watt otherwise the resin won't cure. Okay and I'm just going to take that and I'm going to pop this over the surface. Please keep in mind that you can use a gloss varnish. You do not need to use resin. Um, so don't feel like you have to use the resin for this to work. I just really like the finish that it gives it. Okay, then once you've put on a decent amount of resin, just uh, bring over something to hold the piece and to stretch the resin to the sides. And you can see there how it really brings out that black nicely. And just spread it to the sides. And then you're going to put this into a UV lamp, a 36 watt UV lamp, uh, for about 10 minutes. You don't really need it to be in there much longer. If you don't have a UV lamp, you can always stick it outside in direct sunlight for about 10 minutes. And that should work quite well as well. Please remember if you enjoyed the tutorial to give it a like as it is free and if you have any questions please comment below and I will answer them as quickly as possible. I greatly appreciate um, anything you have to say about the tutorial. So yeah, I'm going to finish up this one as well and then I'll pop them into the UV lamp for about 10 minutes and then we can assemble the earrings. Okay. So I brought them out of the UV lamp and I was drilling the holes like you can see here and unfortunately my camera glitched out and didn't end up recording it so I was unable to put that into the video but basically all I did was I took one of these drills, positioned it over the top of the piece and just rotated it until I got the holes and so that's how I got the holes in the piece. I have a lot of other tutorials where I show how to drill holes so if you uh, need to see those videos uh, check out some of the other videos I have on the channel. Then all you're going to do is you're going to take a jump ring, you can use gold or silver, it's up to you. I'm just going to place that on, grab my ear wire of choice, place it on and close the jump ring. Up, and then I'll rotate the uh, open section back so you can't see it and then bring the ear wire up and there we go it's as simple as that and there are our two finished pieces quite happy with how they turned out I really like how the gold lining on the washi tape um, really shimmers under the UV resin and I quite like the black it just creates a really nice stark contrast so if you enjoyed this tutorial please do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions also write them down there and I will get to them as soon as possible. Uh, if you like this tutorial please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel as I do videos like this every single week and as always I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.